Now for part two, we're going to create the end pieces. So we're going to create a new, we're going to create a new part. And I'm going to right click over here. And this is going to be rename my end. Now both ends are exactly the same, so I only need to create one, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to click on a new sketch, click on the front plane, press N for normal two, and I'm going to move it down because my bottom corner is going to be this. So I'm going to slide this down a little bit. And I'm going to create a four inch tall by three quarters inch wide rectangle with my rectangle tool here. So I'm going to click here and go up. Okay, and that is going to be, that dimension right there will be four, so I press four, enter. This dimension is three quarters, so 0.75, enter. Okay, I'm gonna get that right there. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, I need to take a little chunk out of here, a little dado chunk. Um, I can make another rectangle here. Oops. I can make another rectangle here and dimension that. That works fine. Or I can get my line tool and I can draw what I want that way. Either way, I'm going to end up now. I hit escape to get out of the tool. Either way, I want to do this, something like this. There's a picture on page four that shows the diagram, the dimensioning diagram for this. So this line here needs to be. Uh, 0.375 inches from there. Okay, so that's set. And then this is going to fit my pegboard that I made. My pegboard is 0.75 or three quarters of an inch. It shows that this line is three inches above this line. So three, enter. And this is a chunk that's cut out, so I need to use my scissor tool to get rid of this piece. And that's it. So that's my end piece. I'm going to rotate that just a little bit so that I can extrude this. And this is going to be extruded three inches. So I'll put a three over here. Click the green check mark to accept. There's my end piece. And the end piece is green. So we'll right click there, edit for appear edit appearance, and we'll make that green. Green check mark to accept. And there we go. Okay, let's add this to our pegboard. Go to our assembly. There's my pegboard that I have so far, and I want to insert the ends now. So I'm going to click insert. And I'll click on an end, bring one of them over here, and I need another one, so I'm going to click and bring it over here. And click my green check mark because I'm done inserting objects. Okay. Now this time I'm going to I want to mate this plane here with this plane here, and I want to mate the center of it. So I'm going to get the mate tool. I'm going to click on this one first. And I'm going to kind of rotate that around so I can get the middle of that. And that kind of brought it in together there. And I'll click the green check mark to say, yeah, I think that's good. And I don't want any more right now. This is good. So I'm going to click OK, or I'm going to say no more. That worked. So now on this other one, this one's facing the wrong direction. So if I click on it once, I get these little options to change the orientation. So I just want to get this and turn this 180 degrees around. So I can just move it by hand, or if I start to move it, see how that's there, I can go 180. And now it should be, press enter. Oh click there. That should be, you know, exactly right. 
So again, same thing. Use the mate tool. Click right in the center. Make sure I'm in the right place. Click there. Scroll back. I'm going to do, 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 find. I have to scooch in here. Find the center of that. There we go. Okay, and green check mark to solve. Okay, I'm going to go to my little cube here and go to isometric and show it just like that. Okay, so there is my pegboard. Click on there. I don't want to add any more. I, I should be able to move my pegs up. I shouldn't be able to move this or this. Okay, now we're done with part two.